This is a presentation of Northeast Streaming Sports. Hey guys, Keith Angle for TGI Sports Talk with my weekly vlog back on the mainland. Great to be here. Had a great vacation. Uh, back to a foot and a half of snow today. Uh, we've been back a few days, so I've had time to adjust. But it's a bit of a culture shock. Anyway, guys, uh, the, the weekly vlog this week, I want to chat a, just for a few minutes about the Juwan Howard, uh, Greg Gard, Michigan, Wisconsin, dust up. And, you know, I don't know. Is it too much ado about nothing? No, I don't think it's too much ado. Um, you can't have adults it help uh, – helping incite a riot, an air riot um, on the basketball court or the football field or the baseball field or anywhere. Adults have to act like adults. I don't think Juwan Howard's totally to blame here. Juwan Howard, I will not give a pass to. He took a swing, open-handed. I didn't see any fists until he pulled his hand back, just quite, pray for, quite frankly. Um, but still, I'm not giving Juwan Howard a pass here. So let's be clear about that in the beginning. But this isn't all Juwan Howard's fault. Um, we'll talk about the, the, what happened uh, beforehand. You know, Wisconsin had this game well in hand. And because of a, a, almost getting a 10-second, a uh, eight-second violation at midcourt, Wisconsin called timeout with 15 seconds left. Um, I believe that was the time. Up 15. And Juwan Howard takes umbrage to this. Well, Let's start with there. Juwan Howard, you're still pressing Wisconsin and trying to close the gap in this basketball game. Um, so you can't – let's not take umbrage, right? Remember, coaches coach to win. It's not like Wisconsin had their first team in there. They had their second and third stringers in there. You're still pressing. You're still trying to win the game then the coach gets to coach on the other side like you're trying to win the game. So let's just start there. I say this all the time. These better, these kids, once you get past Little League, you know, I'm not for taking a foot off the gas pedal. I'm not for, you know, unless it's really out of control and the talent level is just way, you know, uh, a big disparity. But Greg Gard only called timeout in that situation because his players were still being full court pressed by Michigan, and Jawan Howard uh, had given those orders to do so, which is fine. Miracles happen in basketball. But you can't expect Greg Gard to stop coaching if you're going to keep coaching to win the, uh, try to win the game and come back, uh, cut the score, whatever you're trying to do, Jawan. So that's number one. So the thing you're upset about, you should not be upset about. It's ridiculous. He's mad. Now we get to the, the post-game handshake, and he walks by Greg Gard and says, I'll remember this. And Greg Gard grabs him. Greg Gard should have just walked on by. So this is where I say, well, two things. Juwan Howard could have kept his mouth shut, but he's upset. He says something. You don't have a gripe in my mind, Juwan. You're trying to win the game yourself. Greg Gard can continue to coach his team. Um, but once that's said, and Greg Gard puts his hands on Juwan Howard, and Juwan Howard says, take your effing hands off me. Not once, but twice. Watch the video, and don't just watch the one video, the first video that came out. Watch all the videos, because there's a couple different angles where you see this from. And it's very clear, you know, that if Greg Gard had just <laughs> had just let Jawan Howard have his say, I'll remember this, and walked past him, none of this would have happened. So I'm not taking the onus off of Greg Gard for what happened in causing this fight between the two teams. He helped incite that. Jawan Howard put the finishing touches on it by – taking a quasi swing at a uh, uh, Wisconsin uh, assistant coach after they've been separated. 
So they came together. They were getting in their face. John Howard's pointing. Greg Gard, who, by the way, you should not want to get in a fight with John Howard because Greg Gard is about a foot shorter, and John Howard would likely kill him. Now, once they push him back and they get him separated and the players are in there and there's, there's another coach from Wisconsin who's yelling at Joan Howard and Joan Howard reaches over a player and I can't, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, make comments. I don't see a fist until he pulls his hand back. I see him reach over and he hits him like this. I did have uh, one of my viewers mention that he that looked like his fist was open and then op- or was closed and then opened up. Whatever, he hit him with a closed hand. It, it was more of a slap. It looked like Alex Rodriguez, you know, bitch slapping the uh, ball out of, of the first baseman's mitt during the Yankees and Red Sox series years ago. I mean, it, it didn't look like it was going to do any harm. It didn't look like he was looking to cause harm. Still inexcusable. And again, I see his hand in a fist only when it comes back. But again, I'm not excusing Juwan Howard's uh, uh, conduct. He should have been suspended. I think the, I think the suspension merits uh, his actions or is merited based on his actions. Who knows? Uh, the, 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 this is a second kind of, uh, this is a second kind of situation like this in two years. Um, and it can't continue. This can't be a pattern with Juwan Howard. You're not a player, you're a coach and you've got to, uh, act like an adult. So your players who are just growing into adulthood, now I will say they're men at this point, but they're still looking for leadership. They're going to follow their leader. You're their leader. But I'll say the same thing for Greg Gard. Greg Gard, teach your players something in this regard. Turn the other cheek and walk away. Don't put your heel. When a big... When, I don't know, his size doesn't really matter, right? Um, but when the other coach is obviously perturbed, doesn't want to shake your hand, um, turn the other cheek and walk away. Be the bigger man. Unless you feel guilty about what you did, which I'm telling you, you don't need to. You feel the need to explain to Juwan Howard why you did what you did. You could have done that after the game. You could have done that after the, the, the heat of the moment had subsided. But you chose to not to do that. You chose to put your hand on on um, on Juwan Howard, and he told you not once but twice to take them off you before things got out of control. And you didn't do that. So, look, and I'm telling you, in my mind, Greg Gard maybe should be looking at some kind of suspension, maybe not as long as Howard's. He didn't take a swing. I understand that. But Greg Gard has a role in inciting this this ugly incident. Not a good look for Michigan. Not a good look for Wisconsin. Not a good look for either of the coaches. Not a good look for NCAA basketball as a whole. And 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 adults need to act like adults. And now, if you're the referees, by the way, let's not start. Let's not start. You know, getting hysterical about we have to keep things in control so we don't have near riots. Danny Curley got thrown out of a game. Connecticut beat uh, Villanova the other day, and he was rallying the 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 uh, um, the fans. Not inciting a riot. <laughs> We've seen coaches for years get try to get and players try to get the play, the the fans involved and up and and really out of their seats and 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 giving their team more energy. And that's all Danny, in my mind, that's all Danny Hurley was doing. Now he gets thrown out of a game because it was the second technical of the game, and he gets thrown out of an important game. You, Connecticut did win the game, obviously, but still, referees can't now t- go the other way and start throwing up technicals and throw guys out of the, the games every time guys look cross eyed at somebody or try to get the fans more involved in the game. So let's not go the other way. And let's not do away with post game handshake lines. What's wrong with that? Patrick Ewing it was outspoken this week about let's just do away with it. It's out, it's outdated. Well, Patrick Ewing's not winning any games, so why would he want to go through a post game handshake line? Win some games. Spend some time figuring out how to win some games, Patrick. You know, and then maybe you can. Uh, I'll listen to your commentary on the rest of the sport. 
So again, this is an ugly incident. It could have been worse and it could have been avoided. It could have been avoided by two people turning the other cheek and walking away. One was trying to do it. He did make a comment, but he was trying to walk away from this, to the incident and, and maybe make comments or, or deal with the, that, that coach later on when cooler heads uh, prevailed. Couldn't do it. Um, so again, that's where I stand on this. Where do you stand? Is John is Jawan Howard uh, 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 the big villain here? Does he need to be suspended forever, as some people call for? No, he does not. You disagree? I hope you'll reach out. You don't think Greg Gard did anything to, to incite this? Please feel free to tell me I'm wrong. Always tell me I'm wrong. I'm not always wrong, but I am sometimes. I don't think I am here. Greg Gard is not blameless in this situation. And uh, again, that is in no way ex excusing what Juwan Howard ended up doing in this situation. Adults need to act like adults. We don't need to get rid of handshake lines. We need coaches who are adults to act like adults. So their, their players who are following them as leaders will learn things as well as win basketball games. Keith Angle for TGI Sports Talk right here on the Northeast Streaming Sports Network. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>